I guess what the niggers is supposed to be doing is putting themselves in the path of that old sweet chariot and have it swing down and carry us home. That would help, as they say, and they got ways of sort of nudging the chariot. They still got influence with wind and water, though they enforce some surprises with cloud and fire. My days are not their days. My ways are not their ways. I would not think of them one way or the other, did not they so grotesquely block the view between me and my brother. And so, I always wonder, can blindness be desired? Then, what must the blinded eyes have seen to wish to see no more? For I have seen in the eyes regarding me, or regarding my brother, have seen deep in the farthest valley of the eye, have seen a flame leap up, then flicker and go out, have seen a veil come down, leaving myself and the other alone in that cave which every soul remembers, and out of which, desperately afraid, I turn, turn, stagger, stumble out into the healing air, fell flat on the healing ground, singing praises, counseling my heart, my soul, to praise. What is it that this people cannot forget? The action is blindness and pain, pain bringing a torpor so deep that every act is willed, is desperately forced, is willed to be a blow. The hand becomes a fist, the prick becomes a club, the womb a dangerous swamp, the hope and fear of love is acid in the marrow of the bone. No, their fire is not quenched, nor can be, the oil feeding the flames being the unadmitted terror of the wrath of God. 